Hey guys, what's going on? I guess it's time to talk about what we're gonna do next. So this here is what was gonna be a double uh, tandem trailer. That's my life. I live on the Daytona 500. And then we have other things going on here. One of these is actually done. There's that one. That's actually my only boat. The budget V-Hull Starcraft. That's my only going boat right now. That one could run if I just wanted to fix it. So actually really, actually I have three running boats. That one too. I just need to finish that one too. I just don't want to do another bass boat. I'm so bass boated out. I mean, all these can actually fit in my garage. And I'm gonna get a mini split and like other things. And so I'm 100% just trying to hold off on the things I can do during the summer to focus on the one that I is gonna be too big for my garage and then put me in problems like the last boat. I'm trying to do that one now. You know, I can say everything I wanna say, but really I, just, I don't even know until I rip that top off and we get it going or it's already got it, but just take all the stuff, all the crap, all the crap off the top. Maybe I'll just build it on this little crap trailer because as crappy as it is, if I put it on that other trail, it'll raise it another 10 inches and it'll make it that much harder to build. Right now, it's fairly level, like to where, yeah, it won't fit in the garage, but maybe it will fit in the garage. It doesn't have an outboard. Nah, it probably won't. It'll probably just miss the garage, but maybe I can mostly build it in my garage. I'm definitely excited to do something different finally. Like, I mean, the other boat was definitely different, but this time we're doing like something completely different. We've only done one done one other pontoon boat. By the way, we did give that one away. Everybody's asking what happened to it, who won it, who won it. We, we, announced, it, we announced it in a live giveaway. And what happened was we called the guy to tell him that he won. And then his personal information came out in a voicemail, like for the world to see. And so we asked, the, we asked people in the chat during the live not to call and harass that gentleman. And then we killed the live stream and just never uploaded the live stream. But yeah, it was been given away. And so that video is coming up on that pontoon boat giveaway. All right, this is what was going to be a tandem trailer for uh, the bow boat that, uh, well, now it's a pontoon trailer. So we got a two by four tubing kind of uh, integrated into the current frame. Because when I really looked and sized up some of these pontoon frames, they're kind of, you know, eh. Right, so the running idea for this thing is, you know, I, I just went on a fishing trip with, with uh, my crew. They came down here to help me with that boat. And then also just, it was mainly a vacation trip that turned into a workation trip, which is our life. But uh, we, we did get to do some vacation fishing with Nick Young Outdoors out here at Lake Havasu, which is the guy we would recommend if you were ever going to come here and you needed a guide trip, which I would recommend a guide trip because this lake is tedious and you need to know what's happening all the time or you won't catch fish, I swear. When we were out there, we fished off a pontoon boat and then obviously it was still pontoonish and it had chairs and stuff, but some of the things we were doing, standing on top of the chairs to fish over the, the you know, the gate or the fence or the wall, whatever you want to call it, that, um, it wasn't that bad. You know, it really wasn't that bad being so tall and elevated. It was kind of all right. You could see everything. So there's a, there's a few options. I mean, it's not a tritune, it's a pontoon. We could make storage down the middle, but then we could just not do any of that because that would make it terribly complicated. And we could just build storage right on top of the deck, but it only has to be like a foot up because the deck is so wide. It's eight foot wide, eight foot. That's the biggest, longest deck. So really we could, whatever we don't need in like depth, we could compensate for in width. And so a foot raise, because we were we were standing on those couches fishing, to, it wasn't that bad. We can make drop down gates. We can make one that raises up, connects to the t-top. That would be a little, that'd be a little hard to pull off. Or we just make a, a solid gunnel that that has catfish posts. I want to really make this one a true sportsman in the front, party in the back, boat, but like truly rigged for, you know, rod lockers, gearboxes, all of it. Just it's meant to just get stuff just to get at it but it's still really fun for the family the family can have fun in the back and i can do my thing up front i mean when we did that on john's boat we were all just having fun we were all just kind of enjoying time and that's what i want to do i mean if you think about it there are two types of boats out in the world boats that bring families together 
and boats that foster divorces. Like an all sports boat, it's just not good. I mean, you can get a 21 foot bass boat bigger than that pontoon boat. And the only people that like to fish out of that are the people who like to bass fish, but something for the family to hang out comfortably. I mean, it's just not, even, even with a flat deck that you can run all over and walk all over, it's just not geared to be comfortable. It's geared for one purpose. I mean, they don't entertain well, like roughneck boats, duck boats, hunting boats, even like, even like a lot of the boat rigs out there, they don't entertain well. They're, they're built for one purpose and that's what their purpose is. That's what they're made for. But like you can, the more and more that we're modifying these boats, we're finding that like designs that are built by these boat manufacturers, it's really hard to please everybody. So they got to make a universal design that's really tailored toward the actual purpose. And the scheme fish designs, I think they do pretty good, but I've always thought they suffered a little too much in the fishing area. Like they were just enough to get you, but it would be terribly uncomfortable to do it like with what you had. And it wasn't very, it's yeah, I just think you could accommodate the sportsman side more without tailoring so much catering to like the recreational side i think that they, i think the boats in today's market like the skiing fish boats they really they're like 70 they're like 70 percent, 75 percent recreation 25 percent fishing i think i think we have a good 50 50 split everybody can actually be truly happy and that's what we're going for and if, but i think we definitely can pull this off you know we saw it with the pontini that was just a 14 foot pontoon boat that held four people and then two people could comfortably fish up there bass fish up there in the front nobody got back boated it was actually very comfortable I mean, somebody could have sat there back there in a bimini top up and relaxed and it would have been all right. I mean, that really is my inspiration. Like, I know that was like not the pontoon boat everybody else goes on. But once I got on that boat and then obviously when I went on this last one with Nick, I mean, I really we really saw what pontoon boats can be capable of. And we even took my family out, you know, I had a family get a get, get together and then Nate's family came over. We all went out on a on a rental pontoon and they really are nice just to accommodate everybody who has different motives on the water. Yeah, and so we need to at least do one. We're not gonna be doing too many of these big boats. Like, I think I got like one more left in me before I'm truly just done with the big boats. And then it's back on to the tiny boat grind where we have some pretty epic projects. I mean, we got no shortage of projects here lined up and we're gonna be making, we're gonna surrounding them based off audience interest. Again, I want to do a flats boat for, for the salt out of aluminum skiff, like which will be an aluminum 1648 John. That's been requested multiple times. Catfish boat's been requested multiple times. A roughneck wood, woodsman, like duck boat kind of boat has been requested multiple times. So those three for sure. We got a, we got a small hole perfect for our 2.0 Yak Killer. And I cannot wait to make the most advanced insane Yak Killer boat of all times that, that flies at like 22, 25 mile an hour. And then we'll just have to see after that point. I'll be out of boats after that. Let me know what you want on this on this on this pontoon boat. Cuz I'm thinking raising a foot on the deck is not a big deal. Like we can put we can raise the deck a foot just in the very front casually and I think it'll and then make compartments underneath all that and I think it'll be fine considering what they are now. We just fences with couches that people stand on anyways to fish. Let me know. I mean the couches are way taller than the foot. So let me know.